Oh, and here we are inside of Epcot, through the gates, into the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. I'm gonna check out the uh, Flower and Garden Festival. See, there's a little bit of flowers and uh, gardens. With Daisy, backed by some stars, because she's a star. She is a star. It looks nice. It's a nice day today. Beautiful flowers and stuff. We're not even in the thing yet. But, you know, there's a little, little sneak peek of what we got in store for us today. And inside of the old Odyssey, thank you. Inside of the old Odyssey, we got ourselves a little bit of food. Come around the table here, you'll see. We got our cider flight here. Got a little bit of a beer flight right here. Got this little salmon dish. What is this called? Salmon, uh, salmon stack. Um, I think salmon it's stack. Thanks, JR. So we're gonna try this food out because it looks pretty good. Looks like cat food. Looks, it does look like cat food, but hey, we're gonna try a bit of this cat food here. Cat food. How do you do? You eat it with this? I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> mm. It's very smoky. Like I can tell that mm. it's smoked salmon, but it's really good. Mm, it's really good. I guess it's like a dip. When you dip, I'll dip. We dip. All right, so that was uh, that's pretty darn good. And here at the Odyssey, we're taking a little bit different route out of here, going down this little ramp out of these doors over here. It's a new place. It's new. I've never walked these steps before. Or come out of this door. And just like that, ah, we're outside of the Odyssey and into the sun, trapped by this rope. Locked in forever. And as we were barely able to exit the gardener's terrace, to the three cavaleras, to Jardin de Fiestas. Is that how you say that? That's how I said it. Oh, all right, and it's actually pronounced Jardin de Fiestas. Jardin de Fiestas. And we got a margarita. This is called the Damiana Flower Margarita. And Jessica's gonna taste it right now. It tastes really fresh. Thank you, Mexico. Norway, you were next, but we passed you today. Heading straight to the far east. I'm gonna check out this Lotus House. See what kind of offerings we can find in here. Do they have, they have many things. Fried crab and cheese wontons by this beautiful bamboo garden. Learn a bit, learn, learn a little bit about it. Learn a little bit about it. Learn a bit of it. Learn, learn a little bit about it. Bamboo is an ancient symbol representing good fortune, uprightness, flexibility, and friendship. China's giant pandas and other animals feed primarily on this green stuff right here. But for us, we're going to dine on this right here. Mmm. That looks like some crab and cheese right inside of that thing. Tastes like crab and cheese. Does it taste like crab and cheese? Mm -hmm. Yum. Not the most adventurous. Plate. But it's delicious. Cheese, crab, deep fried, wontons. Can't really go wrong. Let's see if we can stretch our wings a little bit though. And from exotic China to the serene sounds of Mexico. No, Africa. What the heck? What was in those wontons? Germany, let's do this. Thank you. 
And after that crazy display, we worked up a little appetite for some Bavarian delicacies. Pretzels, ham, and cheese. How is this gonna be? How was that pretzel, JR? It was really, really good. Really good? Yes. Awesome. Wow, best thing he's had so far today. Which, like Jessica said, is nothing. That's an easy win. You know, this is the Flower and Garden Festival, so we probably should show a little bit of flower and garden. And here we've got, in Germany, Snow White and A7 Dwarf. Snow White, she's always been a friend of animals. She's got a little, little guy, little guy with her on her wrist there, a little lizard, just blending in. Not really, I spotted them pretty easy. Flowers are pretty, they make me feel good when I look at them. I hope they make you feel pretty good too. Hope this makes you happy. Listen to that music, just take in that ambience, that ambiance, and enjoy. Flower and garden. Flowers? Gardens. We're over here in Italy. We've got us a little dish, looks like. Fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes with a little bit of that mozzarella. Oh man, that looks pretty darn good. All right, we're going in American style. I'm excited. The cheese is always good. Yum. Yeah. Italy. Hey, seldom disappoint. Oh, Italy, thank you for whetting our appetites for this American Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews. Oh, look at, look at Minnie and Mickey over there. Flowers and gardens. All right, let's go get some barbecue. That's barbecue. Pickle, meat, bun, innards. This is the burnt ends and pork pulled slider. This is going to be good and... This little ditty right here, this little moonshine lemonade. JR got a lemonade. Sands moonshine. Sands moonshine. Check this out, he got a pretty good looking pulled pork slider with slaw. He's ready. That thing's pretty big actually. That's a big slider. Yeah, man, look at that. It's got the goods. Got a mouthful of pulled pork. He says that thing's got a big thumbs up. From the smokehouse, over in the old American pavilion, good old barbecue. This is the frozen lemonade with the uh, moonshine, firefly moonshine. How is that? Pretty good. Good? That is good. That is very good. I don't think we're going to be able to actually pick this up, so we're going to have to get a fork and dissect it piece by piece, section by section. Get a little bit of that sauce on there. Whoop. That is really good. Mmm. Man, that's really good. It's like tender, smoky. It's making me just salivate everywhere. Yep, we had to make a stop in the Mitsukushi. Mitsukushi, a little green tea action here. JR got a little strawberry something or other. It's a drink. It's a drink. And Jessica's got his little snack that he got, these little... Is that right side? Mushroom candy? No, no. I don't, it's the, there you go. Mushroom candies, it's crackers or something. Just in case I got a mental health. Oh boy, let's go try this out. Japanese candy! Oh, we got our snacks. This guy's gonna watch us, make sure we're doing it right. Pretty sure we're gonna do it right. We know how to snack. 
Actually, it looks like we're already confused on something here. I'm not sure what this is. We don't know what this is. This is some sort of strange lid. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's fizzy. I didn't know it was fizzy. What kind of lid is that? What is that? What are all these things? There's like gaskets. You have to push that in. You push what? it in? Yes. So then you drink it like this? Yeah. We're okay. waiting in suspense. Yeah. What the heck is it? What dropped in there? Yeah, but what is it? What does it do? I don't know. Okay. Huh. And here, as we gaze upon this citrus Jap Jap Japonica, citrus Japonica, we're over here at the fine local produce of Florida Fresh. The Florida Fresh booth, because they've got something that I really like. And it is their version of shrimp and grits, which is shrimp and grits. And here comes Jessica now. Oh yes, and she's also got me a milk stout to go with it. Wow. Smells good. Look at those goodies right there. That shrimp and grits and the milk stout. We got this milk stout from uh, Gainesville. Threw it out of Gainesville. This is a nice thick chocolatey milk stout. You can tell by those the way it hugs the side of the cup there, you twirl it around. It's got some gusto. Oh yeah. But the real star of the show here, Florida Fresh, is this shrimp and grits. Last year, it was really delicious. I'm gonna see if uh, this year it's the same. Try a little bit of the grits. Mmm, instantly, it instantly just fills your mouth with flavor. The shrimp and grits with this milk stout. I'd say it's the best combo at the festival. Cheers. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Florida. And Florida Fresh, you were delicious. Let's go to France. Look at Jessica over there. She's waiting. She is so Frenched out right now. She's about to France her France out. All right, stepped over to France at the Florida Lee. You got your Vichyssois au Concombres, your Tarte Chevre, Canard Confit Provincial, and uh, macaroni and cheese. So that's what you can get here. Well, looky here, it's Kermit the Frog here. I don't even have to disguise my voice much because it already kind of sounds like Kermit the Frog. Here in France, in the gardens here, Flower and Garden Festival, along these flowers, in this garden, Kermit. The frog. While we're here, JR also got this old macaron, chocolate macaron lollipop. Looks pretty good. I think both the outside and the inside are chocolate. You see the inside there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's got chocolate. That's got lots of chocolate. That's pretty good. Now let's try the nuts on. All right, try it with those little peanuts on there. A little bit of. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. It's like a nutty buddy, right? Kind of like a nutty buddy. All that, with old Kermit behind us. Are you calling her? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Technically, this is not flower and garden food, but it is limited edition, limited time only. The meat pie at the Yorkshire County Fish and Chips. It's got me a little malt vinegar. I don't know if you're supposed to put that on there, but I'm gonna. Oops. Whoa. Okay, so that was a lot of that. Chicken and mushroom. That's good. That's really good. That's pretty good. Hey guys, in case you were wondering, we were just eating at a little secret place down this little walkway. It's not really secret, but it's right behind the old Yorkshire County and the Rosen Crown. It's actually separated but connected to the Rosen Crown outside seating area. You just walk down this little walkway here, right by the old water, right by that bird. Find yourself a little seat, nice little seat, secluded, out by the water to enjoy your fish and chips and or your meat pies from your old Yorkshire County Fish Shop. In the old UK, in case you need to make a call, find yourselves one of these little red boots. Make a call. Call home. Did they answer? 
Dang it. Oh man, look at this beautiful blanket of flowers. You could almost call this a garden. A flower and garden area. That's pretty beautiful. Look at that. It's just like, it's like a blanket. It's just like a blanket of flowers. Oh, look at that bird over there. Did you see that bird? It disappeared in there. Oh, there's bees in there? Holy commode. Oh, it's, it's like a whole ecosystem in there. This is amazing. What was the name of this place? I don't remember. I don't remember the name of this place, but we got some tuna tataki because yeah. anytime Jessica sees anything tuna tataki, she's got to have it. That actually looks pretty good. All that juiciness in there. Do I have to give you a bite? I'm pretty full from that Very meat cool. pie. Is that pineapple with it? Or what is that yellow thing? Mango? Might be mango. Oh yeah, the citrus blossom. That's where it's from. The old citrus blossom. Oh. And it's the tuna tataki. What is that in there? Spicy tuna glaze, mango, avocado, and papadum crisp. What'd you get, JR? Orange cream slushy in a souvenir orange bird. Look at him. He's way cool. Zipper cup. Wow. Me and JR, we made it into the old butterfly garden here. Look at that. Little baby butterflies in there. They're not butterflies yet, they're just kind of like. Worm, worm pods, but pretty soon they'll emerge into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Some of them already out, actually, if we look around. Oh, here, there's one right there. Oh, up there, oh, no. They give us uh, some go-go squeeze. Apple, apple fruit on the go. I think it's uh, applesauce in there, and it's cold, so that's gonna be really delicious. Oh, look at these people, that's fun outfits. All right guys, that's it. That's our first day at the 2019 Flower and Garden Festival here at Epcot. Saw a lot of flowers and gardens. Beautiful. Festivals, it's one thing Epcot does a lot of, and they do it well. This weekend, while we were out, we also met up with Kurt and Care Family Vlogs. That was really cool. Ran into Jeremy from the Magic Geekdom. So check those guys out, their channels. We'll leave a, a link um, to each of their channels down in the description below definitely check them out. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.